What are molasses and what are their types? If you are looking for a gingerbread cookie recipe without molasses, then you must try this recipe. For this reason, it is best to know what molasses are and their types to understand their properties to distinguish them and avoid them when baking. What is molasses? It is a well-known sweetener that is used to add color and moisture to baked goods. Molasses is a thick syrup made when the juice is extracted from mashed sugar cane and sugar beets. When the extracts are boiled, their liquid crystallizes, it gets denser, and the molasses thickens each time it gets boiled. Molasses can be classified by their variety, such as sulfured, unsulfured blackstrap, determined by the extraction method, amount of sugar extracted, and the sugar cane's maturity. Unsulfured or regular molasses are obtained from concentrated mature sugar canes. Sulfured molasses are produced from sugar canes that did not age well, which results in the addition of sulfur dioxide that alters the molasses flavor. Types of molasses Light molasses also called Barbados or mild molasses, are the most common variety, produced after the first boiling of beet or cane syrup. Light molasses have high sugar content and are sweeter than dark molasses. Dark molasses. The thicker produced after the second boiling of sugar or beet juice. It has a lower amount of sugar than light molasses that is the usual type used for making gingerbread. Blackstrap molasses. Byproducts of regular sugar, after the third round of boiling, it is the thickest type of molasses. Despite having a bitter taste, it is rich in minerals, vitamin B6, and iron. It is not used as a substitute for light or dark molasses for any sweet recipes. Fancy molasses. Referred to as gold star, and it is produced by crushed beet or sugar cane that refines and evaporates, resulting in light and sweet liquid. This type of molasses is manufactured for a specific product. Cooking molasses. The sweeter version of blackstrap since it is produced by combining fancy and blackstrap molasses. What you will need. Ingredients. For cups all-purpose flour. 1 tablespoon ginger powder. 2 teaspoon ground cinnamon. 2 teaspoon of allspice. Half teaspoon of kosher salt. 1 cup cold butter. 2 teaspoon ground nutmeg. 1 and a half cups of white granulated sugar. 2 eggs. 1 cup of honey. Step by step to make gingerbread cookies recipe without molasses. Step 1. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Line two baking sheets with parchment paper. Step 2. In a stand mixer, Cream the butter by adding sugar on medium speed. Beat until light and fluffy, or well incorporated. Using a rubber spatula, scrape the creams on the corner and beat for at least 3 minutes. Step 3. Gradually beat in the eggs, honey, salt, ginger powder, cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice at low speed. Step 4. Carefully add the flour into the mixture while it is running at a low speed. Don't overmix your dough because it will dry out your dough. Remove the dough and knead it gently until it comes together. Step 5. Lightly flour a piece of parchment paper and pour the dough. Flatten the dough by pressing it down evenly, flourishing the dough's top, and then adding another piece of parchment paper. Step 6. Afterward, pour the dough out onto a lightly floured piece of parchment paper. Gently press the dough together until a cohesive dough forms. Next, flour the top of the dough and place parchment paper on top of it. Using a rolling pin, roll out the dough between the two parchment paper pieces until it is flattened to your desired thickness. Step 7. Using a floured cookie cutter, stamp out the cookies and transfer them to a lined parchment baking sheet. Then, re-roll the dough to cut out as needed. Step 8. Bake the cookies at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Cool the cookies on the baking pan, then place them on a cooling rack. Decorate and serve. Tips and tricks. Use cold ingredients for this recipe, as it helps with the texture of the cookies. Thicker cookies will yield softer cookies. You can roll on a floured top or board if preferred. If you want a firm dough, refrigerate to have it return to its shape. 
If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.